Good evening! My name is Brighthops, and welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned. Well, last time we... well, shit got real. Let's be honest. The... we were basically saved by our, our super special Ultra Nun, who we got as a one time for that mission. That is the only reason we pulled through that at all, and we are glad to have her. Still, we've had a couple of injuries, and while we do have some people back waiting to come back sooner rather than them, it is still going to be a little while till we get a full party back again. But at any rate, let us see what the new day has to bring. Let's see, Miss Lana's recovered from near-death experience, so she's back. We've got five currently recovering from injuries. Let's see... Actually, we might take... Oh, I thought... Oh, my bad. I, I guess I thought that I had gone through and done these, but apparently I didn't. Alright, first things first. Let's see, what can we get give you to you? Yeah, a quick reload would be good for Sinister Seven. Just so that she has an easier time getting shots off. And it'll give us a chance to get Miss Lana back into the field. Now let's see, was there any piece of gear that... Well, I'll give... Uh, I'm happy to give her that. If only for the time being. And... I might get rid of the big... F might get rid of the frail, well, the big one, and replace it with a proper hammer. Unfortunately, we don't seem to have a shield. Hold on. Yeah, we can get one easily enough. There we go. So Miss Lana can, if nothing else, parry. And, you know what, just for the sake of it, she can, she can carry around a giant, a great frail as a backup in case things go wrong. But anyway, we did. Let's have a quick look. What missions can we have? Well, considering this one's a brutal and this one's a deadly, we're going to go for just a normal Wordstone rush. One warband divided into three strike teams, while the other is scattered, ra scattered randomly. Well, we're just gonna have to make do. Small groups of enemy warriors have been discovered across the area, scattered in fright. Before they can regroup, you break your warband into three patrols to intercept and engage your disorganized rivals. To be fair, I'm fairly certain that there aren't enough of us to split up into three proper patrols. But we'll see what we can organize, shall we? As soon as it loads up. Okay, let's have a quick look, see. We are here, we can have up to four people by the wagon and possibly a few more elsewhere. And we've currently got five. Alright, where's the... Actually, this could work. There is a plan going forward here. Since most of the stone appears to be on the right-hand side, we're going to plant as many... a fair number of people in between between these two points so that we can go in, try and gather us gather us some stone, while also uniting the party fully. Of 
because if I'm correct, while the enemy may be scattered around the place, I don't... Th if my knowledge of the, this kind of thing is correct, they'll be scattered around... about where there's... sort of in this area here. Or at least some around where their wagon and their... that witch hunter... Ca captain is... Well, we'll get that bag next turn, then. At least we've got someone in position. <laughs> Excuse me! Bit of a sneeze there. Now, let's see... What have we got to talk about today? Well... I guess... Well, we, we're, since we're going up against them, I guess what we can do is we can discuss what exactly are the witch hunters. Because what? Because because the net the term can range a little bit, shall we say? You see, witch hunters in Warhammer Fantasy are. Well, of well, the obvious w w way of putting it is they are the ones who go out to hunt down witches and various other inhuman monsters that roam around the that, the Warhammer world. Usually around where, usually around where the empire, the human empire is. Though they can go beyond there, they can go beyond. It's just that. Their authority is limited once they go beyond a certain point. And in truth, a large part of just how powerful a witch hunter is depend depends largely on who's backing them. Cause there are different tires of witch hunter. There are of course those who work for the Church of Sigma. They, they will usually be pretty high rank there, and that gives them quite a fair bit of power within the Empire itself. Because if you're... A new round has started. Because the Church of Sigma is an incredibly powerful entity within the Empire. It gives you... It gives them the authority to do quite a, quite a fair bit. Not everything, though, but... Enough... Enough that a uh, that a witch hunter can operate rather without having to worry too much about le little things like legality. Objectives updated. However, the term witch hunter can also go to various other groups. For let's let's say for example that a low the local lord of the land finds that there are well there are some somewhat a bunch of mutilated corpses that look like they've been ritually but ritually butchered as turned up and he kind of wants to Objective take care of it updated. locally he might sprint hire a bunch of mercenaries as witch hunters in order to try and track down the so basically the source of it. And in that Lord's own territory, they would have Objective authority. Updated. Or the, the authority to do things that would otherwise probably be a bit not bit grey in the whole legal thing. However, if they if, for example, it turned out that the bodies came from somewhere floated down down river from somewhere up river and the this is just and in order to track down the source they're gonna have to go well further they're gonna have to go further abroad then if then their page the patronage of their low 
of the Lord who hired them. Yeah, his influence kind of tapers off. And that is, of course, not to count as people who just go around on their own to basically fight the forces of evil. Which is something that can happen. In fact, that's... In fact, that's kind of the situation with a lot of, say, the witch hunt. Objectives updated. The witch hunters' mooks in this particular case is the flood. The witch, the mooks of the witch hunter warband, the flagellant updated. and the zealot, are more or less just kind of pe everyday people who would be doing their thing regardless, but have just, for whatever reason, been selected to join the witch- a witch- a witch hunter captain. Okay... Where are we going for stone? Let's see, there's some here, but we're gonna have to go up. Up and around. Okay, so we are slowly gathering stone together. That's good. That is very good. Though we haven't properly engaged the enemy yet. Which isn't great, but we can make do. See, what does Four Sigma do? Ah, increases movement range by such and such. Okay, we are seeing the Witch Hunters gathering. Though... Though they haven't launched an attack yet. And we can see the Witch Hunter cart right over there. It's the one that has the giant, which has the stake with the burning corpse on it. It's kind of hard to miss. Whew! Seems that particular witch hunter wasn't very ac wasn't as accurate as he could have been. That is good. A new round has started. Okay, so we've got the pious altaholic, and she is full up. She has filled up their quota, as it were. Hang on, hang, hang on. Back, 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 back. Got a, getting a plan together. No harm in giving everyone here a bit of a boost. Let's see, we've got the witch hunter there. I think... <laughs> there, there's a flagellant. I think the guy behind the witch hunter might just be... the Templar. See, that's a staff that's not worth grabbing for us. Yeah, I have to admit, it took me a moment to recognize the Templar, since usually I'm... When I see Templars, I'm, I'm usually used to seeing them wearing heavy armor. This one appears to have gone for light. Alright. 
Actually, there's no point going that way. It won't get us there any faster. And truth be told, we might be better off coming this way anyway. Because there's a bit of stone there we can grab. Which will be useful, definitely. If only to just round up the numbers so that we can get the secondary updated. objective. And that little boost gave us extra movement range, which is nice. Objective completed. Ooh, cluster. Very good. And while we're at, we might as well just get some extra stone while we're here. Miss Lana has been away from the field for a while, but she is not messing around. And we are glad that she has returned. Okay, thankfully you could only get the one swing off. Otherwise, we would probably be in a bit more trouble. <laughs> Though we still might be. A new round has started. Firstly, let's just do a bit of a buff. Put Sigma's might back on some people. See if we can kill the, the Templar before he can get his shit back together. Because if he's dead, that's at least one hero we don't have to worry about anymore. Did I just set to dodge rather than parry? <laughs> the the pious ultaholic is not messing around. Okay, we sh Since we have the additional people, we might as well try and give some additional combat support over here. And with their, ch their Templar dead, that's one less bugger we have to worry about. Because here's the thing, the, that Fledgelance, no matter how many people we have on him, he's not going to run. Fledgelance will not have to worry about being outnumbered or terrified or anything like that. So they are psychotic zealots. The Witch Hunter and the Witch Hunter Captain, however, they do not have that. There is a good chance that if they are outnumbered, they will turn to flee. And if that is the, and if that is the case, that could help us out a great deal. Sorry, got caught on the table. Just trying to find somewhere to get out of that built that area of building, so that we can come over and join in the fun. 
Unfortunately, we're a little bit... We're a little bit... backed up. Still, we'll throw us. We'll try a spell, see what happens. Let's see. Huh! The guy managed to actually make a... Resist magic check. And he's managed to also avoid flame cut being all alone. Lucky bugger. A new round has started. Isn't it great when you actually have spells, bu buffing spells, and they work consistently without horrible things happening? This is nice. This is a nice thing to have happened. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this is one of the people who can't actually back out of a fight. Damn it, there goes the Objectives alcoholic. updated. Annoying, but there's not, not a whole lot we can do about it now. Can't really back you out. C can we back you? No, unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> Simply because there's nowhere to be backed up to. <laughs> However, that works as well. We just kill the cap that captain. Objective completed. Let's see, where is this bloody witch hunting bastard actually disappeared to? Oh, there he is. Just pinning him down so he can't really get anywhere awkward. And I'm confident enough in us being able to take out that flagellant to not have to worry too deeply about them being st to sta standing and fighting for too much longer. A new round has started. Well, there goes the flagellant. Wonderful. Unfortunately, we can't actually climb up there. Which is annoying, but not really exactly surprising. So I'm... No, no, they still have someone other than the... That witch hunter. Though I have... For the life of me, I have no idea where. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Might have a plan here. Unfortunately, we can't quite reach their wagon this turn. Which is sad, but not a whole lot we can do about it. And you're full up as well, so... All right. 
point, there are good odds that they're just going to break. Yes, they did. That's good. <laughs> A shame that, uh, that the altar holic was knocked out, but sometimes it happens. Strength in steel wins a fight, but it is your strength of spirit that wins battles. Alright, let's see if what the damage is in the aftermath of this. The gods are with you. So Miss Lan is leveled up, very nice. Nice progress. Another level. The gods are with you. Three for three. Just short of four for four. The pious altaholic has gained a full recovery. Nice, very nice. Your warband is getting stronger. And we've leveled up. We can now have a new henchman. And we have an additional reserve spot, which is great. And we've got a few things we can sell, even better. Without having to worry about medical bills. Wonderful. Just wonderful. But I guess this will just be it for now. Until next time, my name is Brightops, and I look forward to hearing from you.